we got to <laughs> What's up, guys? We're going to take a moment and look at a new vehicle I have. So, there's my buddy Z. Civic's hanging out in there. Boom. All right. This is probably something you all did not expect me to get a hold of. 1995 Ford F-150 XLT. You can see... This thing's in sweet shape. I mean, everything's been taken care of on this. Um, the car's in fantastic shape, in, inside and out. Uh, everything, the paint's in good shape. It's got chrome bumpers, all the chrome accents. And, and this is back when uh, chrome actually had a purpose, not just to look good. It was more durable, so... And it says four-wheel drive. It's got a 302 in it. Camper top. And I actually have, um, if I don't feel like using the camper top, because I've got to put a bike in it or something, I have a tonneau cover I can put on that's color matched to the rest of the truck. So it's uh, it's a dark blue like the interior. Here, we'll open her up. Here you all might think this is cool. Uh, we're going to, yeah, window covers on there. And, of course, the super stylish mid 90s blue interior gotta love that so i mean i got this really as a it's for utility um it's a good looking truck it's i'm not going to put anything crazy it needs new tires soon so i'll probably put something mildly more aggressive on it but but nothing crazy i mean i'm still gonna it's still gonna spend most of its life on the highway you know pulling stuff putting bikes in the back Going to pick up engines and transmissions and crap. And tow friends out of ditches, probably. Um, now we're going to pop the hood. See, it's got, the, got a full back seat in there. Uh, the super awesome OEM cassette player. Slightly cracked dash. Honestly, though, I mean, you can't... Original service manual sitting in here. I think we've got... What is it? 146,000 miles, which for a 95, that's that's not a lot. It's been really well taken care of. Seats are worn out, so I'm going to keep my eye out for um, something a little better on the seats. It's got an OEM exhaust. I thought about putting, maybe putting a true dual on it with long tube headers. I mean, that's just, it's just kind of ideas. It'll be when I'm bored and don't have something else to work on. There it goes. Look at there. I mean, looks dirty under here, but everything's been well taken care of. I, I personally know the previous owner, and I know he took somebody who got it as a. I think he got it when it was a year old. It was like a had been returned or was leftover stock or something. So had real low miles on it, and he's taken really good care of it at the Ford dealer or a very reputable shop its whole life. Um, you see, 100% OEM, everything on it, 100% OEM. But it's got a V8. Um, thought about trying to do a supercharger or something on it to give it a little more power, but that'll be something down the road. Maybe we'll get into that. I mean, I'd like to have a little more power out of it. It is pretty slow. I mean, it's a 302. Is this the same engine for you all that aren't into Ford stuff? That, that's the... The most common Ford V8. Uh, that's what you get in the Mustang, the older Mustang GTs and stuff is a is a 302. It's a 5 liter V8, right? So we'll see what we can do with that. You know, there's kind of unlimited parts you can get for it because of what it is. I wouldn't mind a little more power, so we might look into putting a little more in there. The, the, the thing I'm going to do first, though, is the, the stereo is horrendous on this vehicle. It really is. So I already have, um, I actually already have replacement. We're going to do a, uh, uh, just a drop-in single DIN that has a flip-up touch screen. So we can put a backup camera on it. Uh, when you're towing, if you've ever towed, it's kind of a pain to hook up, especially with a 
camper top and everything, you can't see your trailer. So that'll make it so I can see the hitch and hook up that way. And then replace all the speakers in it. The head unit I'm getting actually has a pretty good power output. So we'll just wire them straight into that. That'll be fine. And then I'm going to get a powered sub, a real small one that I can tuck up under a seat somewhere. That'll be fine for this. You know, it's got cruise controls. You can take it down the highway. Air conditioning works. All that shit works. Pretty badass center console with your cassette tape holder. You know, everybody needs to hold your cassette tapes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, let me know if you're interested in this. We can probably work on it more. Uh, yeah, I've got some ideas for it. Mostly it'll be just uh, what I use to cart bikes and stuff like that around it with. I might end up putting a dash cam in it as well. But I'm not going to lift it or anything. I, I'm not into that. You know, I don't, I'm not going to actually go off-road with it. So we'll keep the OEM suspension and then maybe slightly more aggressive tires just because it does snow up here. It would be nice to have something that could go through the, the snow. And then probably some power adders, um, true dual exhaust. And honestly, I'm not doing duals out the back. If I do, if or when I do that, I'm probably just going to do turn downs before the axle um, for that. So there it is. Uh, we'll keep you updated if you're interested. If not, fuck you. I'll keep you updated anyway. I like it. I think it's a good truck. It'll. I've driven it around a little bit when my arm was. Still in the sling, I couldn't really drive my car very easily, so I was actually driving this. I picked it up right right when that happened, kind of. I know it's fine around town. I mean, it, it, you don't get as many much joy out of it because it's a bit slow. It's kind of a tank, but let me tell you, people get out of your way when you're in a big-ass truck. All right, and don't worry. I know you all want to see more about the car. I have some good news because we will be going to do some fun things with the car. Um... I am signed up for a track day with this, and because of that, we're going to have to do some brake upgrades, probably some wheel and tire upgrades, so I'll be getting in that, into that. I'll keep you all updated with all the prep I do to go to the track. Uh, it's not going to be anything too crazy. It's going to be generally in this form, but um, yeah, the brakes definitely need some upgrade because these are just, it's basically an OEM braking setup, you know, which is fine around town, but on the track that's going to boil over into turn one, you know. So we'll fix that up. Uh, Brian, why is this open? What the fuck? And we might do a couple other things, but I'll let you guys know. So just a quick update. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I definitely want to see how many of you are interested in the, uh, in the F-150, though, and just seeing more about it. Because I think it's pretty cool. But I know if, may, if you're an import guy, you might not be into trucks at all. You might definitely might not be into Ford. But, hey, this, this is a good truck, I think. So, all right, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.